Namaste to everyone. Honorable Chancellor of USTM, Sri Bhabubul Haq, Professor Nageshwar Rao, Vice Chancellor Ignu, Professor Saket Kushawaha, Vice Chancellor Raju Gandhi University, Arunachal Pradesh, Professor Prabhashankar Shukla, VC Mehu, Professor Dhruva Jyoti Bora, Vice Chancellor, Sri Mantra Shankaradev, University of Health Sciences, the Vice Chancellor of USTM, Professor D.D. Sharma, all the distinguished guests, very distinguished people who received the BLIT and degrees, other degrees today, the deans, faculty and staff of USTM, parents and supporters, and most especially the graduates of today. Congratulations to all the graduating students who have received their degrees and awards and accolades today. I'm extremely happy to be here at the University of Science and Technology, Meghalaya, and be a part of the seventh convocation ceremony of this young university. I congratulate all the graduates who are receiving the degrees and also the awards at this solemn function today. Let me also congratulate Dr. Ravi Kannan Admashri, Dr. Abdul Vez, and Mr. Prashant Rajaguru, the recipients of the honor, honorary DSC and DLIT degrees, which are conferred on, their, on them for their recognizing their outstanding contribution in their respective fields of work. Dear students, you have earned your degrees at a time when India stands on the cusp of the change. India has emerged the, as the fastest growing economy in the world. The perception of India in the eyes of the world has changed remarkably. Now that you have been presented your degrees, you are going to be the actual field of chosen work of yours or studies on your own. I therefore remind you the words of Swami Vivekananda on the topic of education. Educate and rise the masses and thus alone a nation is possible. Go close. Friends, our honorable Chancellor of USTM, Sri Mahabhubal Haq, has taken this as a task to give the education in this state of Meghalaya and also the entire Northeast. I'm very happy to see large number of students and particularly the girl, female student, coming from different parts of the Northeast India to today receiving their degrees. Congratulations to all of them. <laughs> Students, education for life, in addition to education for living, is the key slogan today. Remember that. You have to get an education for life instead of only for your living. For the graduating students, remember one thing. Do not only look at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You must be well wondered what is this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So don't only look for five figure salary, four wheeler vehicles, three bedroom apartments, and children and a family or a partner of yours. You need to do more than that. Contribute to the society and for the needy. That's what your honorable chancellor is trying to do through his university. I congratulate you. You need to develop a right attitude through your good values. In broad terms, your educational goals are statements that describe the competencies, skills, and attitudes and attributes that students should possess upon completion of a course or a program. They often operate within the interacting domains of knowledge, skills, and attitude. The last one 
is very important in your life, ladies and gentlemen. That is the attitude. You will step out today from USTM with a degree, but that is not enough. You need a right attitude and values in your life. Kindly look at your chancellor. Imbibe some good qualities to bring in change in others' life. That's what is important to me. Friends, India's economic development and transformation is intrinsically linked to its education and skilling. Only an educated country can aspire to be a developed country. We thus need to ramp up the numbers of higher education institutions, like the one USTM is trying to do, particularly in the northeastern part of India. By 2030, India is still will be the youngest nation of the world, with nearly 140 million people ready to enter the portals of higher education. It will be an interesting to note that one in every four graduates in the world will be a product of an Indian higher education system. That tells you a lot. You will be global education persons. Higher education with an innovative and entrepreneurial mindset is the key to leveraging the demographic dividend for the benefit of the society and the community at large. The need for increasing higher education institutional numbers is further complicated by the globalization, competition, and knowledge-driven economy. ICT tools, internet, and social media have resulted in the explosive growth of knowledge. Knowledge is not only going to be drive the Indian economy, but also it's going to permeate into all the strata of the Indian society for a better quality of life for its citizens. With that intention, the national government instituted the National Education Policy 2020, which is really, we are discussing so much about it, that means it has entered into everybody's mind and their homes. We need to change our education system, which is plagued by 200 years of control by the other countries. Indian higher education system needs to elevate itself in the knowledge economy, by striking a balance between quality and quantity, with accessibility and equity. A multi-pronged strategy is needed in addition to teaching institutions that primarily focus on skilling and teaching. Here is the need to promote many more hubs of innovation and research excellence. what I can say to you all who are graduating today, and particularly an occasion, a beautiful auditorium with, with more than close to about, I think, 2,500 people or 3,000 people around. I come from an institute called Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Last 27 years, I served at Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I'm only the director of IIT Gohati in the last two and a half years. As you all know, I'm an, only an adaptation here. I thought this might be an opportunistic time for me or a moment to reflect on the changing face of research. In institutions like my own, both at IIT Gohati and also in the Institute of Science, and also the, like the institutions of yours. I was so happy to see a large number of biological science graduates today and large number of also PhDs graduated today. 